Please, sir. I want coins. If you want some, I'll give it you. If you want coins, then click the link in the description below for IGXE.com. Use the code TREY at checkout to get yourself 5% off. What's up, guys? Steve Rolls here, and welcome to episode number 77 of the Fulham Crew. In this episode, obviously, you can see on your screen, the first game will be against Crystal Palace. The second one will be just a week later against Aston Villa. Now, we still sit first in the league. Manchester City have yet to play their 30th game, though, so... We, we gotta be hoping that they lose that game or at least drop some points because we want to be gaining up our lead in the league so that we can claim our first trophy in this series. We're four seasons in and we have yet to even win any silverware whatsoever. It's been a long run and a long journey and I'm only hopeful we finish at least top four. I think Champions League for the first time would be a great accomplishment as well. But if we can win the league on top of that, that would be fantastic. But I have something to show you guys. You can see Player of the Month announced. I, just, I was just searching through the news because... I don't really look at the news too much now that it's in this just this little section. I used to look at it all the time in the old menus when it was on like FIFA 12, FIFA 13. Don't really read it too much. First off, player of the month is Arsenal's Debushi. Yes, they have Arsenal there, but no Debushi. Whatever. Anyway, um, I wanted to take a look at this preview. Now, you can see Entep. Entep's been injured for the last, what, two games? Two or three games? Um, just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. See, 25-year-old wide man Paul Georges Antep will surely be the player to watch in today's match as the France-born man holds the position of league top scorer. Yep, he'll definitely be the player to watch in a game where he's injured. Yeah, good one, EA. And you can see by the predicted starting lineup that he's not in there. Like, I don't think it's due to the fact that they know he's injured, though, because if we head over to my lineup, you can see... I changed my formation. Now, we don't have a right forward or a left forward in the team because I did change that, obviously, like I just said. We have Tovan in at Cam for this team. Now, I want to try giving Vieto and Dybala a chance both to perform up front because in our previous formation, we were having Vieto as the lone striker and Dybala playing at the right forward or left forward position. Now, I want to try Tovan at Cam as well because he doesn't really have the pace on the wing that I like, and I think he could perform very well in that Cam position. So, I'm... I'm I'm hopeful that this team will work out well, this formation. I use it a lot in, like, Ultimate Team, my main team that I use, that you might be seeing a squad builder on. Not too sure yet. I don't want to get hacked uh, because it's a very, very solid team. Um, uses this formation, so I'm pretty used to it at this point in time. But either way, that's our lineup. It's our most solid lineup that we can possibly use in this team without Entep, of course. Um... But we have a few other, like Oxley chamberlain he's playing at the center mid position. I'm not sure if I like him there or not. He has been pretty decent in that position, don't get me wrong. But he is kind of more of a right winger naturally. But yeah, I think he can perform very well in that center mid position. If not, Vera 2 can come in off the bench. And next year, of course, we do have James Ward-Prowse coming in as a free agent. So he could even come in and play that position as well. We have definitely helped our depth in this series. We still need a backup center back, I think I would say. Or at least a new starting one. Because I want to get this whole team, this whole starting lineup, above 80 overall. Vieto will surely break that potential. Klein, I'm not sure if he will. Because this is before like all the updates came through. I started this career mode at the beginning of FIFA 15, the day it came out in America, which is like two days before it came out in the in Europe. So I've been playing this for a long time, and it was at the very very beginning. So his potential, I don't think, was as high as it would be right now due to the fact that he's been dominating as a right back in English football. But either way, I still think he could possibly hit 80. Rudiger will definitely, or Rudiger will definitely hit 80. Vieto definitely will. Um, but we still need a backup center back because we have Lorente and um, Palmer Brown who would also probably hit 80 at some point. It will be a long time, but I, I definitely do want to get this whole team above 80s. So if we're going to win Champions League, we'll probably be in it next season, so I want to have a strong lineup for that game. But either way, I've been rambling on way too long. Uh, let's just get straight to this game against Crystal Palace and take a look at their lineup. At Craven Cottage for this game, take a look at their side. Bang! Erdinch up front, former Saint-Etienne player, punchy in on the left-hand side, Bannon on the right, Frey, Ledley in the middle, Williams is at Cam, very, very high potential player in this game, Friars is very, very pacey as a center back, so I've got to be worried about him, both of their fullbacks really aren't that pacey though, so I think we could break him down with Vieto and Zibala. Um, Guillerme, he's definitely a new keeper, the one from the Russian League, I believe so, the Brazilian one from the Russian League, if I'm not mistaken, but either way, could be an easy victory here, but you, you got to be worried about it in some sort of way. Got to be at least a little bit frightened on the counter, but I think we can pull it off. Boom. Boom. Yeto. Oh, come on. Penalty. There we go. 
Vietso couldn't get through. I was actually trying to do a spin move there, not the little move that he did pull off, but it worked out for us. We end up getting a penalty, and we'll more than likely put it in. Actually, I'm not too sure. I have been taking some awful penalties as of late. I don't know what it is, but I've been struggling, but I, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for sure. And we're going to give this one to Vietto. Um, we gave it to Dybala in the last episode. I do believe he might have better, better pens, but we might as well um, give it to Vietto right here. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Oh, he put it in still. That is frightening. I am so bad at penalties now. I really don't know what it is, but at least we put it in. Oxlade Chamberlain, just bang it. Oxlade Chamberlain, that was so close. Oh my god, thank goodness. Oh god, I jumped way too early on that one. That one was my fault. Easily at the height advantage there, but I definitely, definitely went up too early, and they were able to head it home, and it's 1-1. Straight from kickoff, let's go Vieto. Vieto. Vieto, bang it. Oh my god, that was going into the top corner. Nice work, Vieto. Vieto again. Vieto again. Vieto! He's almost putting those in. Vieto, nice ball, come on. Dybala putting it down. Dybala on his weaker foot. Dybala heads it in. No way. Goal line clearance. Tovan, though. We got another chance. Over to Dybala. No. Ah. Oh, God. They're through. They're through. Punch in. He puts it wide. Oh, no. What a save, O Black. And that's full time. 1-1 one, one, the final score. Just couldn't break him down in the remaining parts of the game. Tried to go ultra attacking, and as you guys saw, they started getting shots on us. Probably should have put one or two of them away. Thank God we had Oblak in at goal. If that was Paul Nardi, would have lost this game. Thank goodness we signed a new keeper. But we, we draw 1-1. One, one. We can't be dropping points at this stage of the season, but we are. Uh, but we got to hope that Manchester City drop points, or else, or else we're kind of screwed. Let's go take a look. So good news in the last game, Manchester City only got a point out of their opponent, so we're still four points ahead, but with one game more played than them. So even if they win their next game, we'll still be one point ahead, but I want to be four points ahead. So we got to hope that we win this one and then they, you know, they lose their next game as well. So it, it, it will be a tough task to win first because whole city have dropped off definitely a lot as you can see Arsenal do sit on the same amount of points as them but Manchester City seem to be our only threat at this point of time I believe seven games left in the season so it's going to be a tough tough ask for us if we're going to be able to do that but we get a match rescheduled here for Arsenal game and you saw that they do sit third place so that's going to be a tough one and then we get another youth squad monthly report I believe this is old actually in fact it is um yeah, that was April 1st. And then we get this from Santoso. Now, why? Your contribution to the team. You haven't played in like 10 games. Why? I, this is one thing I really wish they'd fix as well for change career mode. Just having the ability to talk back to them and say like, hey, you you can't. No, you're, we'll loan you out or something. Like, we're not going to be able to pay you that much money. So, I, I don't know. It's just something that really grinds my gears about this game. Um, either way, we got this game against Aston Villa. We're at home for it. These games against Villa use, usually go down to the wire, so I'm not really hopeful about this game. I'm going to adjust my starting 11, and we'll check it out when we get to the game. All right, let's go take a look at both sides' starting lineup for this game. Here's ours. I changed the formation once again. I'm just trying things out. Now that we don't have NTEP, I'm not sure if I want to play a formation with wingers, but at the same time, it was working for us, so I think I'll switch back to it eventually. We got Redmond in this game instead of Tovan, because like I said, I'm kind of liking Tovan a bit more central than on the wing. So Redmond's playing in this game on the left-hand side. We got Oxley chamberlain finally playing a game on the wing. Abid and Fofana playing at the CDM positions. Dybala just behind Vieto because he is a natural center forward. So he can do well there. And for Aston Villa, they got Pella and Caicedo up front and Zogbia in at cam. Delph, Sanchez, and Gardner as the three center mids behind him. Very, 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 you know, that's a very good side right there. Hutchinson, former Fulham player, Bakuna, Sissoko, Vlar, and Guzan. Decent side. This is going to be a tough test. Whoa. That's got to be a red. Got to be a red. Yep, it is. You can see at the top of the screen. It, it always seems to happen versus Villa as well. Always seems to happen. And we finally get another chance. Another break for us right here. Hopefully, we can pick up all three points. We just need a goal playing against 10-man Villa. I think we can do it. Come on, Vietto. 
Curl that one. No. Did not get any airtime on that one. 78th minute now. We just can't get a goal in this game. So we're going to switch to the 4 2 4 formation, of course, just to try to break him down even more, make a few changes. Uh, Fofana wasn't on full fitness to begin the game, so we'll switch him out for Oxlade Chamberlain. We'll bring on Salt Maximin as well as. Who else do we bring on, if any? Like, I don't think we're going to bring anyone else on. Um, actually, we'll bring on Tovan to play in a center mid position, but other than that, we'll just leave it exactly the same and hope that we can get another goal, but that remains to be seen. Redmonds to Dybala. Nice. Vieto. Vieto taking down in the box. That's a penalty. Very lucky one. I was trying to fake shot back so that he could get some space, and Vlard dived in. Could it be another red for him? I doubt it. Uh, looks like it's not going to be, but we get another penalty. Jeez, these games have been very boring. Both of our goals, if we score this one, would have been from penalties. And if we're going off of our last penalty, not too confident with this one. But we're going to switch penalty takers because Vieto doesn't have the highest of a green bar. So we'll switch him to who? Dybal is only a little bit better, but we'll give it to him because he did make his last one. Vieto's made all of his as well, but... Zibala, I don't know. We'll just give him a chance. See what he can do. That's a good one. Come on, Zibala. Please. Yes. No, what a penalty. That was a great penalty. And we score. Pull time this episode by a penalty. Vieto. Vieto going through. Come on, Vieto. Vieto. Ronaldo chop. Nice work. Vieto curls it. Somehow finds the back of the net. We don't. We finally, finally score a goal that's not from a penalty. We don't go the whole episode. With, that, with just two penalty goals. I would have been so pissed. Nice chop there. Vieto somehow finds the back of the net. Guzan, not a great save there. And we're 2 0 up. It's Dybala's turn. Nice work. Dybala on his weaker right foot. Come on, Dybala. That one was with his left. Couldn't find the back of the net. And Villa are going to clear. That ends the game, though. 2 0 is the final score. I will take that win. Finally getting a goal after like what 80 minutes of that game. That's very frustrating considering they had 10 men But like I said these games usually come down to the wire even if we dominate like we did in that one Always always seems to fall to around the 80th minute for when we win games against them I don't know what it is, but it, it happens all the time So our next game will be against Arsenal who did if you saw by the table that little glimpse of it are in second place Let's take a look just to be sure what the tables looking like Yes, yeah, no, no, Manchester City played their other game, and it looked like they hadn't played it in time, so they are ahead of Arsenal just by two points, they have yet to play their other game though, so they could still just be a point behind us when they play that other game that they haven't played, which we have, but we're still, we're still in a prime position to win the league, as long as we're winning games, we can certify it, and we have what, six games left of this season, we'll take a look at who our six remaining opponents are, I believe it's Hull City, Arsenal, not sure who else, we'll go ahead and delete these emails as well. But I'm not sure who else we play. Arsenal will be a tough test because of fitness reasons as well. Not not too bad of fitness reasons, but Arsenal will be a tough game. West Ham will be a difficult game, but not too difficult. Whole City do sit in the top four, so that will be very hard. And then we got Southampton. Manchester freaking City. The reason I wasn't talking is because I just dropped my controller. But Manchester City would be a great great game could you imagine if it came down to this game because we're going to be ending the ending the season with these two games right here so in the final episode of the season it could be the title decider against manchester city that's going to be an epic episode but we got three more to go i believe one one will be arsenal and west ham two will be whole city and southampton so yes two more episodes and then we'll be at the season finale against manchester city and uh, sunderland so going to be a very very interesting next few episodes if you guys did enjoy this one however please leave a like on the video comment anything you have for me down below any feedback i love reading comments um just in general um yeah that's basically it again if you guys did enjoy it please drop a like i've been severe all day and i'll see you guys next time my teacher miss thomas told me i would never be nothing i looked at her dead in the face and said i'm gonna be something she told me that in a few years i'll be catching the bus now I'm catching the car service, guess who the driver, her husband? It's priceless.